Hi Gemini, welcome to your singles reading for January 2020. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. Returning, thank you so much for coming back. So welcome Gemini, hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a nice Christmas and Happy New Year. So Gemini, you have to be single in some way, shape or form. So um, however that means for you. If you are connected with somebody, you may want to watch the Love Connection reading I do every month. They That may also resonate for you. So... Gemini. Let's see what we have for Gemini. And if you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And there goes my chair going down on its own. I need a new chair is what I need. So, <laughs> okay. So I'm sitting on an office chair and it just randomly, it's old. Just, you know, the air pressure. I go <sighs> way down to like the floor and I feel like Jerry Lewis. <laughs> okay. So Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Let's see what's going on. I do say at this time, this is considered, I feel, for whenever you see this, till whenever. Um, as you know, you know, energy and timing is fluid, so everything can shift and change. So just take what resonates here. Um, if you'd like to watch past readings, your playlists are below. I do consider all my readings timeless. Okay, Gemini. And there's a lot of stuff down there uh, in the description box, decks I'm using, social media, I uh, do readings on Instagram, how to reach out for personal reading. So this deck here, we're going to get a couple signs for you, Gemini. Let's see what we get. We could get also an element or a planet as we have Saturn and fire. So Saturn is Capricorn and fire can be Leo, Sagra, Aries. So we have Capricorn with the Saturn energy and then we have fire energy, which is Leo, Sagra, Aries. And fire, you know, is very fiery, passionate energy. It's also about um, drive, ambition, go-getter kind of energy. And uh, Saturn energy is about, you know, ambitions, goals, security, lessons, and challenges. So, hmm, I don't know if that'll play into the reading in any way, but the signs there are Capricorn and Leo Sagittarius. So, all right. So the first thing I want to do here, Gemini, is I'm going to pull an energy, like an overall energy, now, this could be your energy. This could be the possible person coming into you, their energy. This could be possible mutual energy for the future. So this could be somebody coming into you possibly that you don't even know or somebody you're separated from, somebody you like, you're not sure how they feel. Maybe they don't even know who you are, you know, that kind of energy. So, but you do have to be, like I said, single in some way. So let's see what's going on with Gemini. Let's get an opening energy for Gemini spirit, please, at this time. I'm feeling that one stuck in my hand. Wow. Ocean of eternal love. 40, double 44. Healing, creativity, fertility. 44. Four is all about stability, foundation, the basis. Very stable energy with that double ocean of eternal love. Healing, creativity, fertility. Wow. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, uh, Gemini now, is I'm going to put an energy on this side, an energy on this side. I guess pick a side, whatever side you res resonate with. Then the other side could be this possible person coming into you. Or like I said, it could be somebody you already know, but you're not in an uh, actual relationship or connection with them or anything like that. So let's get a couple energies here for you, Gemini. And we're going to pull tarot all around this energy. Okay, that one wanted to stick in my hand. Then we're going to see uh, the energy around each of these energies with the tarot. Then eventually how this energy will come together once it's together, how um, that energy will play out uh, together and possible outcome. So let's see here. I'll try to give time frames. I'll try to give um, what I think this person may be like, what they may do, and that kind of energy also. If you're familiar with my past... Um, singles reading I did um, this is a little different I kind of created the spread so you can let me know if you watched my other singles reading which um, outline you like better and uh, I can go back to the old way or I can mix it up and do uh, you know both so do let me know in the comments if you're not familiar with my past uh, single reading you can go to your playlist below for the love go find December singles and watch that one and just let me know which way you like better. I thought this would be fun and interesting. So let's get an energy on this side. We have Ganesha, 
Clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance. 31 is four. Four again. Wow. So I feel like this side here is divinely protected by divine energy, angel guides, uh, spirit team, celestial energy, uh, passed over loved ones, ancestors, all that universal spiritual energy. This person on the side is protected. And I feel like they've cleared away obstacles in their life, no longer serving them, and they were divinely guided to do so. Now they're very stable, 314. They're feeling, this side's feeling very stable. They may have a um, connection to elephants. And I know this isn't an elephant. I know it's Ganesha, but it's part elephant. So I'm just getting the elephant part of it that maybe some have an infinity for um, elephants or connected to elephants. Maybe it's their spirit animal. Or they just love elephants. I don't know. Something with elephants on that side. So let's see what this side has to say. 16, winter's end. Regeneration, rebirth, positive outcome. And one and six is seven. Seven is like a divinely guided number. Um, so something here with winter's end on this side. Hmm. Okay. So let's see. Bottom of the deck here, we have 30 flame tree, the start of something new. 30 is three, about working together, coming together, rejoicing, celebrating teamwork collaboration kind of energy that flame tree the card always just reminds me of twin flames so possibly here you could be dealing with the twin flame by winter's end possibly and this person here could be divinely guided knowing this person on this side may know what tr uh, twin flames are they're divinely guided with that energy they always say you know twin flame is an energy not a person and with that fire you know it's kind of like fiery you know twin flame fire so that could just be the fire energy all right so with that ocean of eternal love my first feeling was like uh divinely connected souls whether uh it's like eternal like lifetimes together whether you know each other in this life or not your souls were together in past lives and i feel like i don't know Something's coming together here with soulmate twin flames, I feel. All right, Gemini. Let's get some energy around Ganesha. Ganesha, like I said, pick a side. You know, once I get the energies out, pick a side. What side you resonate with most. Um, if this doesn't resonate with you, then it's probably not your reading. So you know, please don't try to make it fit. Two of Pentacles. So juggling around over here on this side trying to find balance you know two and then the three so working it out and finding balance and being successful so yeah i felt like this person on this side has cleared away obstacles no longer serving them were divinely guided to do so they're divinely protected heavily through you know and all this and now they're stable they're secure they're successful you could just be successful in general but i felt like whatever you were juggling around in the past on this side you let that go you cleared away that energy. No more juggling. You worked at it, and now you're just successful and uh, victorious, happy and abundant with the sun energy in the back. They are strong, stable, um, courageous, and brave. So let's see over here. Well, we got the Wheel of Fortune, divine timing, things going in a better direction, Two of Swords, needing to make decisions, and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Ooh, so this side here, it's like they got divine timing on their side also with the Wheel of Fortune, like things, positive outcomes. So this person here on this side was waiting for an outcome. And I feel by winter's end, whatever this outcome is, they're waiting on whatever this news is, because it says rebirth, regeneration by winter's end. And I feel like swords is winter. So through the winter, they're like, I, I don't know what's going to happen here. But the wheel is here to bring in to them whatever they've been waiting for or indecisive about or whatever here. The wheel of fortune is the divine timing. Things go in a better direction for this person. Then I feel like they're much more, whatever they're waiting on by winter's end, whatever it comes into them by winter's end, I feel like going into springtime, um... They're going to be much more stable and grounded here and have a chance here for like a very stable new beginning for themselves built on a firm foundation abundance so maybe they have money coming in maybe i don't know something like that a new job they're waiting on or something like that but it's divinely guided for them they can't see it with the two of swords 
But by winter's end and with the seven divinely guided energy and the wheel of fortune divinely guided energy, it's coming in for them. They don't see it. They're unsure. But it comes in and then by uh, springtime, they're able to um, have a brand new beginning for themselves based on stability here with the Ace of Pentacles for the long term. So they're going to be set here for the long term. Like I said, it could be a new job. It could be a settlement. It could be money coming in. It could be something here or, you know, starting their own business. It could be anything. But now they have that Ace of Pentacles, which is, is a good energy. So let's see. I'm not getting a sense that you, you know each other. I'm not, I'm not getting that. I feel like this is two separate total entities that you physically in the 3D, you do not know each other, but your souls do. And I feel like um, somehow this will come together. So let's get, uh, Oh, let's get some energies here. So we have the Princess of Pentacles. So that's good news, a message coming in, some sort of news coming in. And then we have the Empress. Right, when I had just said male, female, doesn't matter. This person could be waiting to start up their own business. And here's the Empress showing up, which is like the Emperor, being a boss, a ruler in charge, owning your own business, being an entrepreneur, being stable, sturdy, and grounded. Somehow, this person, okay, this is a message I'm getting. This person is waiting on something, waiting on news for something, to have this new beginning, to start their own business or something like that. Whatever news they're waiting on, you may be the, may be the deliverer of this news to them. And that's how you meet this person. Whether it's over the phone, or you have to meet up in person to sign documents, or... Whatever here. It could be male, male, female, female, male, female. It doesn't matter the sex, whatever here. That's what I'm getting. So, I mean, this side over here, um, I mean, it does say protection. So maybe, you know, you work um, for like, I don't know, a lawyer, you know, that does uh, civil service or something like that or something. And, you know, you, I feel like you will be the deliverer of this good news to this person, what they're waiting for. And maybe you have to meet up to sign paperwork, to sign documents or something. And that's how you meet this person. Wow. All right. So let's see if that makes sense for you. This may not be for everybody. So, uh, however, you know, resonate. So let's see how these energies will come together. That was the message I got. So let's see if spirit proves me correct. <laughs> if not, then I don't know. We'll see. So, Four of Cups. So, hmm. yeah, I feel like this person is waiting on the message. Like, they don't know what's going to happen. Four of Cups energy. You know, is this going to work out for me? I don't know. They're sitting there waiting and thinking. I, I'm, I'm just, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to, I don't know until this message comes in, which is that Princess of Pentacles. This could be, um, could be summertime. Well, let's see. A Cups is summer. So, so what do we have here? Queen of Cups. Yeah. Water energy here. And then we got the world. So, you know, new beginnings, closing out old chapters, starting new beginnings. They're waiting for that message to come in. And I feel like you are delivering this message that they're waiting for. Even though this water doesn't matter. You could be just a loving, compassionate kind of energy. And you, maybe you kind of know their situation. Maybe you've only talked to them over the phone, email, whatever here. But I feel like now, like, this opportunity, this news comes in, and it gives this person, like, their new start, their new beginning with the world energy. And that is about traveling. So you may have to travel to, like, meet this person somewhere. Um, so let's see. Let's get one more. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Dreams coming true. Happiness and joy. So this person is going to be ecstatic. And, and then you're going to meet each other and be like, oh, oh. <laughs> Wish the dream come true. It's like, you know, you've only talked over the phone or, you know, email or something. And maybe, you know, you had a good rapport with this person, but, you know, didn't really think anything of it. And then all of a sudden it's like now you're coming in with the Queen of Cups energy. You know, was a Princess of Pentacles all about business, you know. And now it's like, cup. we got cups now. So we got like, wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, happiness and joy. I think this person will be very happy. But it's like, I think you see each other too. And you're like, you know, kind of 
you know, googly eyed over each other. All right, so let's get some more energy here for this Gemini. The sun, oh my God. <laughs> Happiness and joy, wish fulfillment kind of energy. Success, victory, um, growth, expansion, everything positive. Every Everything in life is positive with the sun. And the Princess of Cups, so that's communication, loving communication. Uh, words of endearment. Hey, can we, message comes in, hey, can we, you want to meet up for a drink, cup of coffee? You know, I feel like this person is such in a good place now. And then you see each other and you're like, oh, oh, wow. Then all of a sudden someone's going to ask, whether it's you or them, ask to meet up for a cup of coffee, a drink, just to, you know, go out. Okay, so let's see. I'm getting heavy summertime here, so maybe you've been in contact with this person since the fall, this past fall time, possibly even as far back as the springtime to maybe fall, but I see things picking up here in the summertime. Okay, so get a possible six of pentacles, so equal give and take, reciprocity balance so a lot of balance equal give and take in this a lot of stability with the pentacle energy you know taking things slowly seeing where it goes um energy here so wow equal give and take so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so we have the ten of pen oh, wow ten of pentacles growth abundance this could lead to marriage down the road that is a marriage card the hermit energy though and then the magician so somebody may have to think about it for a minute but then realize, okay, I want to manifest this brand new beginning with this person. And there's the commitment card. Making that final decision with the judgment card here. That I want this person, commit to this person. There's the twin flame card with the four of wands to me. And with the fire energy and with that flame tree. This definitely could be a twin flame connection. I don't get the sense though that you knew them before. I don't. You may have in past lives, probably, because I feel like your souls and your energy knows each other, but you know, don't know each other in the physical world, other than maybe if you're communicating with this person for some reason over something business related or something like that. But then you finally have to meet face to face and then all of a sudden wishes and dreams come true and then making judgment call, committing, stability manifesting a brand new beginning after thinking about it for a while and this definitely could be a marriage and a long-term commitment for the long term down the road you're forever person wow it's a lot of energy to come through for a single reading okay so gemini i'm gonna pull some ending messages with this deck so if you do like how i read gemini please do like share subscribe and comment I love to read the comments, hit the bell, you won't miss out. I do a lot of different readings a month. You can check out my channel. You like what you see. Please feel free to subscribe with that bell. You won't miss out if you do. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who's supported the channel, whether you're a new subscriber, uh, reached out for personal reading, tip donated, sent a gift. Whatever you've done, I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. So thank you. So let's get some messages from this deck. So we have vision eight. And eight is all about action, travel, communication, and vision. I feel like with that vision and the moon energy there, I just feel like, again, with a lot of that 5D energy, like your souls, in, you know, envision each other from life's before. Like your souls know each other. Then once you see each other, have like that vision, that sight of each other, it's like, wow, I think I, do I know you? And it's like you kind of... Um, feel that past life energy wow what does it say yeah so we have what aphrodite there so let's see what's on the back of the deck uh, bottom of the deck so we have hope 27 which is nine and we have the nine of cups there which is wishes and dreams coming true and hope it's kind of reminding me of the star energy of faith hope optimism wishes and dreams coming true um healing energy divinely guided energy so this is a very hopeful connection here, um, Gemini. So if this makes sense to you, um, if it's not like what I described, then um, 
I don't know, maybe you run into this person somehow in the summertime. You could be going for legal advice. You could be going for advice somewhere somehow because you're feeling confused about something. And that's how you run into this person also. <clears throat> and it could be during the summertime. Wow. Gemini is sending you many light, love, and blessings. Good luck to you. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.